Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm your host, Siren Frost, and finally we're doing this um, after a little while hiatus. Again, a lot of shit just went down, so I'm going to try to make this more better for you. So welcome back to Deck Profile Weekly, where I do two deck profiles per day, or per week. Yeah, two deck profiles per week. That's my only limit until I get everything more straightened out. But I do have some good news. I may be on the verge of paying back on my set six collection. Believe it or not, I know, like, wait, you already got all the shit. Why you need to still pay on that? Well, my bougie ass decided to take all the perfect guards. There. I actually all said it. One triple bar got rid of the other one, so thank God for that. Um, next, I'll be moving on to set seven, which I'll finally start taking over the, the gigs in that one. So everything from set seven should be... Um, posted within a few more, within a couple more months, if I can put my cards right, literally. And then, once that one, the first thing's been done, I can finally start doing the set eight collection, which I'm actually looking forward to it because this is my last chance of actually getting that stuff back. So there you go. But until then, I have actually two update deck profiles for you guys and one deck profile debut kind of thing <clears throat> for you guys. So. This is going to be in the V series. Once again, we haven't done V series for quite a long time. So I just I meant to do this deck profile the soon the minute I got these cards, but with everything kind of happening, I just lost count. So I'm making it up for you guys right now and think of this as me saying, "Yeah, I'm sorry for being a little bit late." You know, I know my content and my subscribers are kind of leaving me a little bit, which I'm okay with because I know I can't perform always my duties as a content creator sometimes. So in this video, we're going to be doing the update profile of my Silverthorn Dragon Queen Lukia Reverse. Um, this deck I hold very like religiously and with a holy grail kind of thing because Lukia is my avatar and always will be and she's my top priority. Now, don't get it twisted though. She Devil Gaming is also the keeper of Lukia as well. And yeah, she may have uh, top par a few times with this deck as well. Um, the difference is that she's a pro type player, and I'm kind of not. But I, I can openly admit that. But I don't give her crap for it. If anything, I think she's more more suitable for dolls because I think she loves nightmare dolls with more to look here. But I think she just loves pale moon altogether, much like I do. So from one pale moon player to another, I give her, I commend her for. Not only having her own custom look here playmat, but also proven that she is a indeed a, a good Pokemon player. So, <clears throat> without any further ado, let's start with this this very long-awaited deck profile video for me. Starting with Great Zeros. Um, Great Zero is my Silver Thorn assistant Ionella, and forgive me if the if it's kind of slanted right here because. My camera can only hold a certain way now, and I don't know what, I think it's just a thread on it, it's just a little bit just loosened and just not good. That's just what's going to happen. So, there's um, Ionella. So, one of her. And then, um, the trigger lineup is going to be a rainbow effect. Basically, it's going to be a very versatile a deck, to a certain degree. Now, I brought everything that has Silverthorn in its name the best I can, but I'm also going to be including a Grade 3 Heal Trigger, which is going to be Nightmare Doll Lindy. So, basically what Lindy does is when this unit is placed on the Guardian Circle from hand, if you do not ride a Grade, grade 3 or Greater this fight, perform the following effects. Choose one of your Vanguards and it gets 10,000 power in the end of the turn. Choose one of your opponent's units and it gets minus, gets minus 2 critical. Until the end of the battle. When this unit is placed on rearguard from hand, if your damage zone has no cards, put the top card of your deck into your damage zone. That's the price you pay for wearing, for playing these heal triggers by themselves, so to speak. Let's see if we can just move it down here a little bit. Now it's going to make it a little bit better. And the shine is not making it perfect. But then again, it is in the center of it, so that's just how I just do my decks now, apparently. The next one, I'll be doing four draw triggers, which is the Hades Hypnotist for the complete guard effect. F 
four copies of Silverthorn Barking Dragon and four copies of S Silverthorn Beast Tamer Sturge. Um, I, w I can understand that people don't like front triggers too much. I don't get why people hate front triggers so damn much. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're bad. But I think they're an excellent deck when it comes to front to um, XL decks, personally. And for this one alone, I think Rainbow is very versatile. It gives you an option about like, what, depending on the, the situation at least. Now, I can always go into 12 crits if I really want to, just to, because I want to be a fucking dick. But I choose not to because I want to actually have more strategy in this game than anything. And I wouldn't disrespect my deck like that, like I did before. So, no thank you. So yeah, that is my um, grade 0 uh, trigger lineup. Um, yeah, of course, that's um, that's a good effect. What makes this deck a little bit more complicated with the heal triggers, at least, is because um, it's a grade three. It gains, tw it has twin drive, but I don't know if I can actually put it in, you know, in the same grade as the other one. So th that's just me personally. It's a little more complicated. All right. Um, so for grade ones, I'm gonna be doing this deck a little bit more different. So I am playing this deck literally at 10, or this um, this grade one is literally at 10. So I'm playing four copies of Silverthorn Beast Tamer Ana. Basically what Ana does is uh, when this unit is brought upon by a Silverthorn unit, counter charge one. When this unit is placed on rearguard from your soul by the ability of your Vanguard is Silverthorn in its name, if you did not counter charge this turn, put this card and one other unit with Silverthorn in its name into your soul and counter charge one. So this is not gonna be helpful for the ride for the ride as well. But that's okay. Mm -hmm. Alright. And next I am playing three copies of Silver Thorn Assistant Irina. Just for that um for that searchability to the point you get your triggers pretty much done and you get your amount of soul that you need. So I think you're good. And then I'm using the three promo cards, Silver Thorn Juggler Mew. I thought this cute, this card is not only a cute, but it's for the Guardian Circle too. It's a Guardian effect. When this unit is pl when plays from hand, you may call this card with Silver Thorn and its card name from your soul to a Guardian Circle. So it's an extra guard just in case. Now I can argue with um, the other Silver Thorn who is a better one than this one, but to me, this deck has been more consistent with me for years. Now in my original deck, I I did used to play Ana and Irina together. Along with Mari Chica and uh, and the other one, but in this V series one, I want to try out something completely different and a little bit out of my comfort zone, just a wee bit. Okay, so for grade twos, I am playing a full amount of gra a twelve of twelve grade twos in this deck. So I am playing four copies of Silverthorn Beast Tamer Mari Chica. Mari Chica is when this unit is placed on V on the V Vanguard Circle. Catalyst one and soul charge three cards. If two or more, if your two soul charges have, if you soul charge two or more uh, cards with Silver Thorn as name, draw a card. Good. When this unit is placed on the rear guard from the ability of your Vanguard with Silver Thorn in its card name, if this unit is on rear guard, choose up to one grade two or grade two card from Silver Thorn in its card name in your soul and call it to the Guardian. To the rear guard circle. I don't know why I say guardian circle. Sorry about that. In the same column as this unit. So there you go. And I'm. I do apologize for the glare. You know, it's not my intention. And but this is the best I can do for the deck. Um, I'll make up for it later on when I get this thing pretty much fucking fixed. So please be patient with me till then. And of course, we have four copies of Silverthorn uh, Marinette Lillian, who is also the confirmed Grade Two Red Line for the Luke here in D series. So thank God for that; she's amazing. And then, of course, let's not forget the the boys Silverthorn Bar Rising Dragon, not Barking Dragon, sorry, uh, Rising Dragon, and his ability just says, if you call two or more units with Silverthorn in their names, he gets additional ten thousand power. So if you have four of these bad boys on top of your XL circles. And you get up to two. They all activate the same time. So they all get the same amount of power. This will add more pressure to the deck. 
more than you think. And this deck should be about pressure heavy with a little bit of tw twists and turns, like a typical performance. <clears throat> and finally, we have the queen herself, four copies of Silverthorn Dragon Queen Lucare Reverse. Um, she has an, um, a nice little ability, a, a nice to her. It is Soul and Vanguard ability. If you have a Vanguard with Lucare in its card name, Cataplast one and lock three of your rear guards with different grades. If this card is on your Vanguard, choose up to three cards with Silverthorn in their card names within different grades from your Soul and Calm to Rear Guard. If this card is in your Soul, write this card as Stand. So there you go. If your bonus Vanguard Vanguard is Great Theo Great Dale, all of your front row gets additional three thousand power for each of your lock cards. So. That adds more fuel to the extreme fire. Here, let me do this for you guys, just so you guys can see the beauty of it. I know this is, my light is a little bit more brighter and the glare is not helping pretty much. And I do sincerely apologize for that. It's just, I'll try to do better when it comes to certain angles and stuff. So for right now, this is the best I can do. And of course, uh, we have four copies of Silver Thorn Dragon Tamer Luke here. The confirmed grade three for the Luke here ride line, which, duh, there you go. And then of course we have three copies of Silverthorn Beast Tamer Dorian, just for the extra soul ability. You know, the more soul you have, the more possibilities you have um, that you can use in the soul as a extension of your hand, pretty much, okay. so to speak. So yeah, that is my main deck right there. Now for the markers, I'm using six XL1 markers just because 10,000 power is amazing to have. Now 5K is good in exchange for drawing one card every time a an XL marker has been played, but I don't want to like draw a, a trigger at the time. So I chose to have six um, six XL circles just in case. And of course, we have a quick shield ticket, pretty much. So anyways, you guys, that is the update deck profile update for my Silverthorn Dragon Queen Lukia Reverse deck. Um, I'm actually pretty happy that I finally got this deck up and running, and it's been such a long time. And I hope you guys can forgive me for the glare and understand that I am indeed trying to, um, you know, make, rearrange my room a bit better for so I can have more... But the lighting, so to speak. But yes, that is the dead, dead profile for this update. And I hope you guys did enjoy this video very much so. Sorry if I spoke a little too much French or sound had a bad French accent. Did not mean to. That's not my intention. It's just this is the only way I can speak right, right fluently, so to speak. <laughs> and yes, I have a, a small little cold. So forgive me on that one. Anyways, you guys, that is the update pro deck profile. I hope you guys watched this video. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, subscribe, thumbs up this video, like, and comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about this deck and what your thoughts are. Um, I know there are some people that will be saying like, oh, this deck is very terrible and stuff. Well, just give it a chance and just hear me out. You know, to the best you can. Just hear me out. But anyways, you guys, that is it for the video. I'll see you guys next video. And I'm your host, Aaron Frost, signing out.